So this might be the most DC story of all time. We can throw this up on the screen from Politico. So all those lovely bookshelves that you're seeing in the back of people's Zoom shots uh, when they're on shows like this one on cable news and elsewhere, turns out that oftentimes they have actually been purchased like as a set strictly for the purpose of making you look smart and well put together in the background of your Zoom shot. Um, this is a, a company called Books by the Foot, and their previous really incarnation, Rachel, was they were, I guess, set up to provide like hotel lobby bookshelves, or um, I think they outfitted the set of like Meet the Press, which is kind of more understandable, but it's just really sad to imagine not being able to put together your own like bookshelf of things you actually find interesting and have read and instead have to resort to paying someone to curate just the right collection of smart looking like on brand books for your Zoom shot. Yeah, Washington, D.C., you know, where people will pay a lot of money to fake their big brain look. Uh, that's basically <laughs> how this town runs. But I have to say, as someone who actually frequently appears on the show in front of my own bookshelf, I am also offended by this because I have lugged those books around through five different moves. Uh, and I've put a lot of backbreaking you know, work into, into organizing them. It's the only organized part of my house. I have to say that. So, you know, I just think it is pretty pathetic that you have to sort of fake your your galaxy brain in order to be taken seriously in this town because that's appearances apparently are all that matter uh, actual strategic thought not so much that's yeah. why we are where we are on so no, many things that's exactly i mean that's exactly it and that's why it's such a perfect dc story is that this place is like so soulless that you can't even have your own like personal collection of books reflecting your actual thoughts it's all just literally about the appearance of like how I want to be branded and what I want people to think when they see my books in the background. Um, it's just extraordinarily, like it's the most sad and pathetic, but also kind of perfect DC thing that I've maybe ever seen. Yeah, it's perfect for this airbrush town. You know, you have industries that exist here that don't exist anywhere else. People that will, you know, come to your house, uh, do your makeup for parties, uh, put up a fake bookshelf, and then outfit you completely, right? It's a perfect metaphor for this town where everything is a shallow veneer of intelligence, <laughs> but it doesn't go much deeper than your fake bookshelf. There you go. I think that is very well said. Um, Rachel, thank you so much for being with us today. Tomorrow on Rising, Rachel will be back and the also great Jennifer Holdsworth will be here as well. Thanks so much for being with us today, guys. Have a great day. Thanks, guys.